Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So I'm going to show you how I did this New Year's Eve clock. So I'm using a clear tip as this watch face will be clear. So these are curving tools. So I am using this to get a proper circle when I do my, the face on my clock. So I'm just checking to see which size is best. So yeah, I'm going to go for this one, it's the biggest one in the pack, I think you got six in this pack. So I'm just going in, because I know where I'm having the clock, so I'm just going in with a clear base, just a really thin layer here to attach some steampunk watch parts to. So I am just putting a couple of them on, because I don't want to overdo this nail. So I just added a gold and a silver, like so. So I'm just going to go in now and cap that and I'm aiming to get a bit of thickness so that I can file it into a circle when it is set. So I'm just trying to make sure I've got the right shape going on. So I am using my brush as well, just to keep everything under control. <laughs> so once I'm happy with that thickness, I will get the pinching stick thing. Before you use this stick though, let that set a bit. You don't want it to be solid obviously, but you do want it to be set a little bit. So then I'm just gonna gently press that into that acrylic and wiggle it from side to side. So that'll leave the imprint and then whatever's over that, I'm just gonna scrape off with a cuticle pusher. I have ordered some um, craft knives, so this should be much easier in future. So once I've scraped all that, I do allow this to set and then I'll just come back in and just make sure that is nice and straight and tidy. Because I use that pinching tool, there's not a lot of filing here because the shape is there so I'll dust that off so I'm now going in with black magic by CJP so again I'm trying to get a band for the numbers to go on on my clock so again I want this to be the same width all the way around and I will file this so that it's got a crisp line when I come to file it and put another colour up to that so I'm just adding another bead just to make sure that it's thick enough And then I'm just using my brush to get that the same width all the way around and in a circle. bit more because I don't think it was thick enough and you're better off being too thick than too thin when building these ledges because you can always file off but you can't add on <coughs> so yep yeah, I'm faffing again and I faff about too much but I thought I'd leave this in just to show you that sometimes it does take a while so that's set, so I'm just going to go in now and file that into a crisp line.
so once you're happy with that I'm just going to dust that off and then I'm going in with Carbon Grey by CJP and I'm going to do the full nail for this colour, what's left. I was going to do loads of glitter but I thought because the watch has got diamonds and a lot going on I just thought I'd do a plain background but I think it'd look pretty nice if it were all a silver glitter or whatever colour you like I think it'd look nice with glitter. to admit it looks right mess at the minute <laughs> not too ready it'll all file into a nice round circles and it'll look like a clock when I've finished I hope So I'm just going to keep going in with beads till I'm happy with that coverage and then I will do a clear cap on this just so that I've got that apex going on. do a thin cap on this So once I've done that, I do go in and file this nail and then I'll be right back to show you what else I've done to it. that beading because I just want to put on the apex so I have to add another bit so I'm back after filing that nail and I'm going in in a bit with these little steampunk um, watch and all what do you call them? Hands. Yeah, watch hands. So I'm just top coating this nail ready for doing a bit of nail art on here. So I've done the top and I'm also going to go in and do underneath because that is clear. So this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going in with Elite 99 Drawing Gel and as you know i'm not the best at freehand but i thought have a go still need a hell of a lot of practice on this i need to be stop stop being so lazy and using stamping plates and stuff but sometimes it's a lot quicker to do that so i'm just putting all the numbers on this clock face making sure 12 is in there because that's what New Year's Eve is all about can't believe another year is gone so 
this is what it looks like so I'll cure that and I'll be back so I'm just going to go in with some nail glue and stick the hands on <clears throat> so this was so fiddly it just did not want to stick I ended up getting glue all over my fingers and sticking myself to the nail and again we've all done it and we'll all keep doing that I suppose so I'm just building that till it's set a bit more glue on the 12 and put another hand in there so I did bend this one because it I just thought it'd go on a lot easier so I'm just sticking that there and using my nail so it doesn't move so I'm just going to top coat these again with nails no i'm not i'll tell you what i'm doing i've just put a little blob on some backing paper and i'm going to take my dotting tools and i am doing a row of diamonds along the clock face that's what i was doing so i'm just going to place them along this line that i'm just putting on using the gel polish So I'm just going to nudge them into place and then just give that a quick cure for about 30 seconds just so they don't move when I top coat again. So once I'm happy with where they are I'll put that in to cure and then I am now top coating the full nail. So I'm putting that up to the diamonds but not touching them. So I will cure that and that will be the finished nail so i hope you enjoyed this guys i know it's a simple one but i thought it was quite cute so i think well i thought i'd share it with you so thanks guys bye